I'm Jason at Lawler Guitars and I'm going to show you how to read the uh, phase of a pickup using an ohmmeter and a piece of steel. Here I have a, uh, uh, a, an analog ohmmeter and one thing you want to make sure is you have your black lead inserted into the common section and your red lead is going to be your, your hot wire. Now the analog meter is a lot easier to read than for this test than a digital meter but you can use a digital meter and we'll show show how to use that after this it's uh sometimes it takes two or three tries to get a, a good picture with your digital meter in this test so we're going to start and recommend with the analog meter okay i'm going to show you how to read uh the phase with two different common types of lead wire this is the Fender Vintage Pushback Wire. And this is your typical Gibson braided shield with a single conductor. Now on the, uh, the uh, fenders, black is usually ground and the other color is hot. On the Gibson style wire, the braid is always ground and the center conductor is always hot. It is imperative that you always connect the black wire to your ground on the pickup and the red wire to your hot lead. If you reverse this, you will reverse the results of the test. Once I get an ohm reading on my meter, I'm going to place the steel bar on top of the magnet and then I'm going to observe which way the needle goes when I lift the piece of steel away from the pickup. And in this case, it goes to the left. Notice that if I put it down on the pickup, it goes the other way. I don't really care about that. It's a, you get a lot clearer picture on the ohm meter when you pull it away. So that's that's how I test it when I pull to the left each time to the left. Now on this pickup, I've put the black lead on the black wire and the hot lead on the white wire. And I'm going to put my steel bar down and then I'm going to lift it up again and the needle goes to the left. As long as both pickups in question move the needle in the same direction, they're always in phase regardless of what their magnetic polarity is or what winding direction they are. Now if you want to know if they're going to hum cancel, two single coils hum cancel together, if you place the pickups top to top and they pull each other together, they will hum cancel. If they don't and they try to push each other away, they won't hum cancel. But if the needle moved in the same direction, they will both be in phase with each other regardless. You can use a digital meter for this test too, but sometimes it's not as obvious where the, whether the reading is going up or down. It's a little bit harder to get a clear picture. See that? <laughs> what is that? Okay, I'm going to try it again. Sometimes you have to try the test over several times. You can see a negative over here. There we go. I got to see it went down to four. If I pull it really hard, it'll go way down and you'll see a negative number. So it just takes with a digital meter. Sometimes you have to do the test several times to really get a good, good idea whether the uh, uh, reading's going up or down.